Demand is an economic principle referring to a consumer desire to purchase goods and service and willingness to pay a price for a specific good or service. Holding all other factors constant, an increase in the price of a good or service will decrease the quantity demanded and vice versa. Market demand is the total quantity demanded across all consumers in a market for a given good. Aggregate demand is the total demand for all goods and services in an economy. Multiple stocking strategies are often required to handle demand. What is the law of demand? The inverse relationship between the price of the product and the quantity demanded was described as law of demand. If price of the product increase, demand declines because the customer is unwilling to spend more money because she or he can't afford it. When the price of an item declines, the demand for the good grows because the customer chooses to acquire the good at a cheaper price. All of this were in unison with the rule of supplies to describe how market economies organize in order to attain the price we observe in interaction. Difference between demand and quantity demand is demand describes the quantity of any item or service that a consumer plans to purchase at any specific price. Quantity demand is a word that simply refers to a point on the previously described demand graph. It is the single point at which a given quantity is desired in a precise amount. It looks to be aligned with various amounts at various costs. On the other hand, quantity demand is a phrase that only appears as a dot and denotes a single quantity. A demand curve is a graph in economics that displays the relationship between a commodity price, which is the y-axis vertical and the amount of the good demand at the price, which is the x-axis horizontal. A shift in the quantity demanded refers to a movement in the quantity of product that buyers are capable of buying. A price change influences the change in quantity demanded. A decline in the product's price will increase the quantity demanded of the product. Other than that, a demand curve reflects both the amount, sought and the market price. A shift along a demand curve represents a variation in the quantity demanded. A change in demand is caused by the price of the goods itself. For example, let us take one of the examples in our life which is sample. When the shampoo price increased from 10 ringgit to 12 ringgit, the quantity of demand will also decrease from 55 to 40 quantity, which is occur the contraction along the movement along the demand curve. However, when the price of the shampoo decreased from 10 ringgit to 7 ringgit, it will occur the extension along the demand curve, which is the quantity will increase from 55 to 75. One of the factors that will cause shift in demand curve is income. It will also divide into two types of goods, which is normal goods and also inferior goods. Normal goods such as organic fruit, vegetables, branded shoes and bag, and also the fine dining and so forth. Let's take one of the example, which is organic grapes. With the fixed market price, three dollars the quantity demanded <coughs> will increase from 12 units to 20 units it is because when people had increased their income they will increase their awareness to their health and also their quantity their quality of life so they will increase in their in their purchase and also demand in their good quality things such as organic grapes. Now we are going to see for the inferior goods. Let me give some example to you guys what is inferior goods. For example, it is candled food, instant noodles, breads, and snacks and so forth. When the people's income increase, they will decrease their demand in these inferior goods because they are having more buying 
buying power and they can buy other things that are more healthier for them. Through this graph, we can see that with 60, 60 fixed market price, the candid food for the the quantity demanded for the candid foods is decreases from 500 to 400. The price of other goods is one of the factors that will cause shift in demand curve. If you divide into two situations, which is substitute goods and complement goods. What is substitute goods, which is the things that can that have same function. Let's take one of the examples, which is McDonald's and Burger King. When the burger that's sold by McDonald's is expensive that, than Burger King, when the price of McDonald's is increased, from the perspective of McDonald's, their quantity of demand will decrease from Q1 to Q2. However, from the perspective of Burger King, they will increase their sales and will cause the shift to the right, which is from D to D1. This is because when the burger is of McDonald's is expensive than Burger King, consumers have more choice and they will prefer to buy the burger in a cheaper price with that having the same utilities. For the complement goods, there are the two things that need that needs each other to carry out the functions. Let's take one of the examples is Android phones and Android apps. They are having their negative relationship in demand. When the price of Android phones is increased, the quantity of Android apps will decrease. This is because there are less people that are using the Android phone, so they will also cause there are less consumers that will download their apps. Preference is one of the factor tools. Preferen preference is depends on the individual's taste on their products. For example, if Simon liked the Adidas shoes, thus for the demand curve, it will shift to the right. However, if Simon does not like the Adidas shoe, the demand curve will shift to the left, which is in decrease the demand. Expectation means the expectation of price of the product in the future. If the consumer expect the price of smartphone will increase in the future, thus they will increase their quantity demanded for now. However, if the consumer expect that the price of smartphone will decrease in the future, thus they will prefer to save money and buy the smartphone in the future. Last but not least, tax and subsidies to the consumer will also cause shift in demand curve. Tax levy to consumers such as GSD or SSD will, in, will influence the quantity demanded for the customer. When the tax levy on customers increase, the demand curve will shift to the left. However, when the tax is decreased, it will cause the demand curve shift to the right. Subsidies is provided by government to the consumer. This will reduce their living burdens. Thus, it will cause the rise in the demand curve when the government is given the subsidies to buy things. Consumer choice refer to the decision consumer make about the product and the service. In behavior of consumer choice, consumer decide which product that they want to buy or consume. There are three hypotheses that we can use to know about the consumer behavior, which is do all of them require the downward curve? 
how do wages affect the job offer and what is the impact of the leisure price on a household saving? Budget constraint in economy is based on the premise that a consumer consumption is constrained by the quantity of capital. As we can see, if the buyers buy no pizza, he will afford 500 points of cola in the point B. If he buys no cola, he can afford a hundred of pizza in a point A. The comprehending the finance regulation, which is the price of the subsequent first class opportunity in a positive motion. This is for forget is known as possibility fee. For the example, you have 200 to spend in one month. Then you can choose whether you want to buy a basic groceries or the top class of the state, which is could ultimate you approximately a week. As a result, comfort and great meals could be a compromise, a good way to have a sufficient meals within inside the whole month. In this theory of consumer, we have two types of curve, which is the budget curve and indifferent curve. <coughs> budget curve is the relationship between two assets in the term of opportunity cost. This diagram example shows a budget curve between two things in the term of opportunity cost, thereby calculating the relative value of the each good based on the quantity and utility. For indifferent curve, show how a consumer perceives the value of the each good in the relation to the other, which is it show how much of the good X is comparable in utility to a given quantity of good Y and the vice versa. In this indifferent curve, we have two examples, which is the perfect substituent and the perfect complement. Perfect substituent means two goods with the straight line in different curve, while the perfect complement is the two goods with the right angle in different curve. We move to the concept of consumer behavior. Consumer behavior is the action of the individual, which is a consumer who are directly involved in the procurement, use and disposal of the economic goods and the service. There are three characteristics of the consumer behavior, which is the consumer is a king. The consumer behavior can be known and can be influenced. Next, the factor that influence consumer behavior. In this slide, it shows uh, we have three factors, which is the personal factor, psychological and situational factor. For example, psychological factor is involve the perception, skill and knowledge of the consumer. Consumer knowledge and skill are linked to learn and can predict a changes in the behavior to cause a changes in the consumer behavior about the specific product. Within economics, utility is defined as the satisfaction or benefit derived from consuming certain goods or services. The concept of utility can be divided into two. Ordinal utility and cardinal utility. Ordinal utility is the belief that utility is not quantifiable and cannot be measured in numbers and is rather arranged in an order of preference. Conversely, cardinal utility states that utility can in fact be determined numerically. The unit of measurement of cardinal utility is util. Moving on, Marginal utility is the additional satisfaction that a consumer gains from the consumption of an additional unit of a good. Marginal utility may be positive, negative or zero. The concept of marginal utility helps economists determine how much of a particular good or service consumers are willing to buy. Lastly, the law of diminishing marginal utility states that as consumption of a good increases, the marginal utility gained from each additional unit reduces, ceteris paribus. For example, if person A is hungry, the first slice of pizza eaten will offer the highest utility. But as the slices of pizza consumed increases, person A would become less and less hungry 
making each additional slice of pizza less satisfactory, thus proving the law of diminishing marginal utility. Assalamualaikum, my name is Siti Nur Jihar bin Terosli and my metric number is 279355. Okay, um, this section provides general information on the respondent with crowns. Uh, the figure shows the gender of the respondents, which shows that 10 respondents were male uh, respondent, uh, meanwhile 20 of respondents were female. Uh, from this st uh, statistic, we can conclude that uh, the number of female respondents was higher than the number of male respondents. Uh, this is because uh, females are more likely to participate in surveys than males. Uh, besides, uh, out of all the other characteristics that influence customer purchase behavior, gender is the most important. Uh, this is because uh, disparities in men and women's expectation wants, needs, uh, lifestyle and other factors influence their purchasing this, uh, decision. It might be said that uh, women have a lot of uh, buying power. Uh, next, uh, the figure shows uh, the ethnicity of the respondents, which includes Malay, Chinese and Indian. Uh, Malay respondents uh, contribute for 18 of the 30 total uh, respondents. The Chinese respondents were made up of uh, 8 people. There are 4 respondents of Indian and based on the following facts, Malay make up a larger number of respondents than Chinese and Indians. Uh, the number of Indian uh, respondents, on the other hand, was fewer than the number of Chinese respondents. Consumer uh, purchasing decisions are influenced by a variety of social factors. Based on the figure, it can say that uh, this is influenced by uh, cultural factors. Uh, for instance, uh, the number of Malay response to this question A was likely larger than other ethnicities due to the change uh, uh, in Malay culture and appetite for fast food. Uh, next, uh, the age of the respondent is shown in this figure. Uh, there are 21 total respondents in the 30 and below group. Uh, meanwhile, there was only one person who respond for age 31 to 40. There are six respondents in the age group. Uh, 41 to 50 and just two respondents out of 30 in the age group 51 and above. From uh, this figure, we can conclude that among respondents in other age group respondents under the age of 31 were the most uh, numerous. It is influenced by a personal factor uh, which is age factor. Uh, as people become older, their spending on this item uh, will decrease. So, uh, they do not spend much money uh, for their desire other than necessity like uh, health compared to uh, young people. Consumer behavior 1 for graph 1 shows the result of preferred to purchase good or products depending on their brands. Based on the graph 1, it shows the highest number respondent decision is neutral decision which is at 12 respondents out of 30 respondents, while the lowest respondent decision is a strongly disagree decision, which is at 1 respondent out of 30 respondents. This is because consumers want comfort and satisfaction in their life, and if the brand they use consistently deliver a positive experience, consumer form an opinion that the brand is trustworthy which is give them peace of mind when buying. Consumer behavior 1 for graph 2 shows the result of even if the price is high, I will be glad if I can buy branded goods. Based on the graph 2, it shows the highest number respondent decision is neutral decision which is at 12 respondent out of 30 respondent while the lowest respondent decision is strongly disagree decision which is at one respondent out of 30 respondent this can happen to people who got a good job with higher salary or have developed fantastic personal saving habits hence consumer would like to buy branded goods even the price is high it because of quality guarantee and to satisfy their need and want 
Consumer behavior 1 for graph 3 shows the result of if my income rise, I will increase my purchases of goods. Based on the graph 3, it shows the highest number respondent decision is agree decision, which is at 50 respondent out of 30 respondent. Why? The lowest respondent decision is a strongly disagree decision, which is at 2 respondent out of 30 respondent. Owing to this, the income effect described how the change in the price of a good can change the quantity that consumer will demand of the good and related good. Based on how the price change affects their real income. My name is Ijatan and my matrix number is 286466. Graph 4 shows the result of respondent survey based on if the price of good is low, people will increase their purchases of that good. It shows that the majority, 12 out of 30 respondents, agree that they will increase their purchases if the price is low. In economics, quantity demanded of a good increases when the price decreases. Thus, the price of a good and the quantity demanded for the good have an inverse relationship. Hence, the majority respondents are willing to purchase the good if the price of the good is low. For graph 5, it shows the results of respondents survey based on I prefer to buy goods online rather than in person. There are quite an average number of the respondents who have neutral decisions about preferring to buy goods online rather than in person. The graph shows that majority, 9 out of 30 respondents, is neither agree or disagree about this option. Majority respondents have a neutral decision because there are advantages and also disadvantages to buying goods online rather than in person. One of the advantages is that they can go to the store online from the comfort of their own homes and there is no time limit on placing orders. Next. The advantage of buying goods online is that they would not be able to actually touch the real thing before purchasing. Although the performance, functions and price of these goods have previously been determined before purchase, not handling the actual products is usually unsettling. This is the most inconvenient aspect of online shopping to the respondents. In graph 6, the option is about purchasing goods online is more convenient and cost effective. The majority, 13 out of 30 respondents, agree with this option. Most of the respondents agree that purchasing goods online saves their time and effort when ordering, purchasing, and having products delivered to their door. It saves time and effort since they can shop at home, especially on a hot day, and rapid delivery is more convenient. Shopping at a physical store is extremely exhausting compared to purchasing the goods online. Thank you. Based on graph 9.1, the response of If the price of good A falls by 50%, I will still purchase it by the assumption of Satiris Paribus had shown that most of the respondents are strongly agree with the statement. From 30 respondents, the highest data has showed that there are 12 respondents are strongly agree then followed by 11 respondents which agree with the statement. The data with the lotus response from respondents is 0 respondents disagree and followed by 3 respondents choose strongly disagree of the statement which is if the price of good A falls by 50% I will still purchase it by the assumption of Satiris Paribus. At the same time, there are 4 respondents have chosen moderate as their choices from the statement. When the price of good A had declined by 50%, most of the respondents will purchase good A due to the lower price given than good B. Based on graph 9.2, the statement of even if the price of good A is high, I will still purchase good A by the assumption of Satyrus Paribus has showed that the highest response from total of 30 respondents is moderate which is the 10 respondents chose moderate for the statement. The lowest response from the respondents is there are 2 respondents that has chosen strongly agree and followed by 4 respondents that has chosen agree.
for the statement given, there are seven respondents have chosen strongly disagree and disagree respectively in the statement given. From the response of 30 respondents, most of the respondents will not purchase for good A when the price is higher. Respondents will find for other goods to replace from purchasing A. So, the rate of purchase for good A is lower than good B when the price of good A is greater than good B. Paragraph point three show the respondent survey based on question if the price of good B rise by 50%, I will purchase good A. There are 30 respondents used in this survey. From the graph, we can see that the highest respondent is equal, which is 10 respondents, disagree and agree respectively. The lowest response is only one respondent choose for strongly disagree and followed by two respondents choose for neutral. There are seven respondents have choose for strongly agree as their choice. To conclude, some of respondents still maintain to select good B, even the price is higher due to the stagnation is higher. Meanwhile, some respondents will select good A when price of good B is increased due to the stagnation of consuming good B is lower, so when the price increase, they will move to good A. Graph 9.4 shows the survey based on the question, if my income increased by 50%, I will purchase good A. There are 30 respondents used in this survey. From the graph, we can see that the highest response is 12 people choose for neutral, and followed by 9 people for agree and 5 people for strongly agree. The lowest response is there are only 1 person choose for disagree, followed by 3 people choose for strong disagree. We can conclude that good A provides more satisfaction to customer with higher price than good B. So when the income of customer increase, they will choose for good A as their satisfaction and needs. Graph 9.5 shows the respondent survey based on question, if my income increased by 50%, I will purchase both good A and good B. There are 30 respondents used in this survey. From the graph, we can see the highest response is 9 people choose for story agree, followed by 7 people for neutral, then 6 people for agree. The lowest response is equal to there are 4 people choose for story disagree and disagree respectively. When the income of consumer is increased, they will purchase for both good A and good B. This is due to the ability purchasing level has increased too. So they are more likely to spend on both good A and good B to satisfy self satisfaction. We can simply state that the consumer behavior has become fundamental to carry out various tests uh, on consumers. We can also conclude that the change in quantity demanded can be caused by the factors of income, prices of other goods, preferences, expectations, as well as taxes on and subsidies to customers. From this, it can be shown that the basic economic ideas are significant for people to make decisions um, on a daily basis, such as purchasing goods and more. Hence, it is a significant and influential social science that explains how the world works.